Nigerian singer, Davido is set to perform at the closing ceremony of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. What's up guys, it's all about Afrobeat right now. I got some stories on Afrobeat. I still got some stories on hip hop Nigeria. I think a lot of people are raising issues ever since uh, a person of Whiskey actually came out with that uh, rap genre is dead and that is culminating into the climate right now. And some people are staying on the fence of uh, you know, whiskey while some other persons are dragging out whiskey at this i don't want to talk much on that i have some interesting stories i want to share with you but before i dive in i want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos Yes, Akon came out to say, I am a huge fan of Black Sheriff right now because he reminds me of energy of myself when I came out. And I think uh, Akon is making a fantastic statement about, about uh, Black Sheriff. Right now, Black Sheriff is on the reef. You know, he's one of the biggest, you know, rap artists in the uh, you know west africa in africa right now based on the recent statistics he's been uh, like you know grossing in and akon at an interview was asked a question and that he responded to you know very well and that story is actually sitting well um on social media a lot of people are responding to that you know big story at a point like this i'm, I'm a huge fan of black sharif right now i think yeah. maybe because he just reminded me of the energy of myself when i came out yes away from black sharif i want to talk about uh Nigerian chart right now. I think uh, the issue between um, a person of uh, Ruga and a person of uh, Buju Benson can be settled uh, using statistics. That is something I believe about the story right now. You know, um, checking Nigerian chart top 10, you will understand that uh, uh, the lies of um, Burner Boy number 10, we have Whiskey number 9, we have, um, you know, Whiskey uh, number 9 with Wow featuring Skepta. And Aramali, and then uh, Burner Boy is on number 10 with Elon. And number 8, we have Loaded Tiwa Savage and Ashake. We have Juha Ashake uh, in on number 7. We have Bad to Me Whiskey number 6. We have uh, Whiskey number 5, Two Sugar featuring Irasta. We have uh, number 4 right now that is. Buju Bernstein, you know, with Traboski. And I think uh, that is uh, making headlines. And that is a big song on radio right now. And number three, we have Extra Cool, you know, uh, Young John. We have number two, One Down More, featuring Crayon and uh, other Maven Records artists. I think uh, Maven, that is Rema and Boy Spice. These guys are really having a lot, a lot on their you know fingers right now and uh, asiwaju by ruga is number one and this i want to settle this course between a person of ruga and a person of buju benson using statuses around i think uh, based on what we're seeing on chat right now i have to give you ruga you know based on what we are saying you know remember that ruga has actually called out a uh, person of buju benson of not having a single hit to his name you know without others and that culminated into something big and people we are able to expose themselves and saying that yes some uh, artists like ruga and others actually rig themselves to top chat and uh, using the services of uh, you know streaming farms and the rest and that you know negates uh, the hard work of other artists to an extent that is what you know people are saying but i don't want to accuse anybody because some people are really pointing accusing fingers on big artists burner boy with davido whiskey and the rest but i don't want to say yes these guys are really doing it based on performances you will understand that these guys are big artists and right now ruga is bigger than buju benson based on statistics on ground yes a person of dj khalid was seen in his uh, luxury car you know jamming to Bonner Boy's uh, song last last I think uh, you know Bonner Boy don't go that is something I believe because international artists 
you know, US based artists. These guys are really fans of, uh, you know, Bonner Boy at a point like this. And I think Love Damini album may get a Grammy because it has been nominated for Grammys and people are responding to that and uh, believing that, yes, you know, looking at the songs like, uh, you know, Plenty Trabai and uh, looking at Last Last, you will understand that Bonner Boy has done a lot with his voice. That is something I believe about that. Let's have a glimpse. This is to show you that Afrobeat is one of the biggest exports from Nigeria and we have to support the industry and we still have to support the hip hop community to an extent. That is something I keep saying from time to time. You know, uh, the attention we're giving to Afrobeat, we need to give it to rap sector to an extent so that we can elevate, you know, the bar at the end of the day. <laughs> Nigerian singer, DeVito is set to perform at the closing ceremony of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Hong Kong businessman, Stephen Hung announced the news on Thursday via his official Instagram story. He claimed that DeVito had officially announced that he would close the World Cup ceremony. Expressing excitement, Stephen Hung stated that he couldn't wait to see him. I'm overjoyed that my bro at DeVito has confirmed he will perform at the World Cup Qatar closing ceremony, I can't wait to see him there, he wrote. According to sources, DeVito will perform the Qatar World Cup song, Haya Haya, Happy Together, with Trinidadian singer Cardona and Qatari singer Aisha during the closing ceremony, which is scheduled for Sunday. Guys, for those expecting something to draw from DeVito, we are not going to see something from DeVito till the end of the year. I think uh, right now, everybody understands why DeVito decided to cancel his shows and, uh, you know, that is without... Um, you know, stress, you know, based on what has happened to Davido. And you have to understand that, you know, Davido is trying to come out from this whole mess, from this whole shit. And um, coming out from, you know, losing your child is not an easy job to do. And coming into the music industry like that is not an easy thing to do. That is something you need to understand. You know, a lot of persons were really excited to see Davido at his uncle's. Um, you know, inauguration ceremony um, in Oshun State as the sixth executive governor of that state, and that is a big one for the family. David was all out there with uh, Choma, and they were having their marriage ring on their fourth fingers and that is a big plus for davido at a point like this people like um, pastor toby um Ch kubana chief priest have been saying prayers for davido to actually having a triplet with choma this time around i hope that comes true at the end of the day but a lot of people decided to say let us hold a concert in memory of davido and in support of davido and his family and that was a brilliant concert the lives of belash mother may uh, be read and a lot of others came out peruzi they came out to actually support that concert i think that is out of pure love guys before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.